Play that back. No! Hello everyone, this is almost certainly not Pickles. And, and, and Grant, Grant Larson. That's right, Josh is not here with me today. It's just me and Grant. Happy St. Patrick's Day, we're drinking. Yeah. What do you got, Grant? Uh, I got some Jim Beam honey whiskey mixed with some Barks root beer. I got Barks root beer mixed in my Devil's Cut Jim Beam. And he, he, he reversed them that way because he's trying to indicate that ma the majority of his drink is Jim Beam's devil cut. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But happy St. Patrick's Day, Grant. Happy, happy, <laughs> not really St. Patrick's Day, but but also St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, I'll just we'll, we'll just have Mark put this put this up on uh, on St. Patrick's Day. But As we're you playing... can say we're playing Kingsfield. What the fuck is Kingsfield? I played this once. It was in my collection. And I'm not entirely mm. sure what it is. I played it for a little bit, and it was really weird. Uh, I don't know a ton about Kingsfield in particular. I know it was made by From Software, mm -hmm. who are the guys who made the huge, unbelievable, critically acclaimed smash hit, the Souls series. The Souls series? Yes, the Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 oh. and Dark Souls 2. And now Dark Souls Trey, which will be coming out shortly. Is that the same people that moved to Bloodborne? Yes. Um, important to note, most of the Souls games um, made by Miyazaki. Guy, guy, I forget his first name, but the the guy's name is Miyazaki. Okay. Um, who sort of had the brainchild that became the Souls series. He was behind Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne, and now Dark Souls 3. And the only one in the series that he wasn't in charge of was Dark Souls 2. And... Uh, Funnily enough, that's probably the one that, the, that people like the least out of all of them, I'd hmm. say. <laughs> See, now that you mention it, it does look a little like uh, Dark Souls, with all the gray and the metal and stone. Uh, but particularly, the dismal atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one thing that Miyazaki was um, really emphatic on in his development of Dark Souls 1. Um, I remember the story... Where um, those of you who played Dark Souls One, you may remember in the Drake's Valley, clinging from a cliff, and uh, also in the painted world of Ariamis, there are these undead dragons. Um, <clears throat> now, when the guy who first wait is that his dick? Well, if that's his dick, you could go see a doctor. Um, <laughs> Stone Cold. <laughs> um. The guys, the, the guy who first modeled the undead dragon yeah. in Dark Souls 1, when he first made it, he made it all like, oh, look at how undead and cool it is. It's got <laughs> yeah. maggots coming out of its eyes. And, it's and he is that, oh, I think you're playing. I think the story oh, so first far. first person? You didn't know that? I did not know that. All the souls <laughs> are third person. Oh, God. And the... <laughs> So I th oh, this is so bad. <laughs> That's what it, I was it, it has tank controls. It, and the Y <laughs> axis is inverted. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I think the story is... Oh, check your inventory real quick. I think it's start. Nope, never mind. Let's just pause. Well, it may become my inventory shortly. No, no, you have an inventory. I just want to show you some... Uh, try some buttons to try and open up the inventory. Because we don't have any, like... Here we go. It was literally just... Yeah, check your equipment. You have nothing. Absolutely I'm, nothing. Go I'm, back out. I'm completely naked, and I'm also, uh, like, a gray mannequin. You are. Go to go to item real quick. This is all you have. <laughs> Brings tragedy to the one who... <laughs> Why'd you start me off with this, video game? <laughs> so the story... Well, fuck you, too! So the story is... They've been trying to return this idol of sorrow from whence it came to keep the land from, like, being as dismal as it is. And you're the latest in the line of people who have tried. And so that is the game. No Good pressure. <laughs> GLHF. Well, did we at least, like, make forward progress? D did we get flagged for a penalty and had to move back ten yards? No. Oh. It, it got brought back to the gates of the city and now you're leaving with the idol of sorrow again. Like I, I literally picked this up off like in a in a four dollar bin at GameStop when they're getting rid of all their PS2 games. Yeah, careful, there's pitfalls. <laughs> so you gotta try again. 
Yup, <laughs> yup. Yep. This is this is about as Miyazaki as it gets. <laughs> oh, we don't have any save data, so I guess you just hit O. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I guess just quit the title. We'll try this again. <laughs> all right, folks. Mark, take two. Mark, leave this. Leave all this in. <laughs> See if you can just skip through it real quick, Grant. <laughs> I specifically did not tell you about those lava pitfalls. Yeah. <laughs> because I knew. I'm glad you didn't, because that's part of the experience <laughs> of a Miyazaki game. Definitely. Is there any way you can skip through this? Oh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. perfect. All right. Awesome. We don't, have to, we don't have to waste time. We just have to wait for the loading, which the cutscene hid. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Take and we're two. off. Oh, this this looks interactable. It does. Like it, it doesn't look quite so dead. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can just make hover plants appear in your inventory. What the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, see if you have something other than the idol of sorrow. That opened up behind me. <laughs> See if you can pick up the lava. Just dive right in there and pick it up. This isn't goddamn Minecraft. Bobby. Oh, it's an herb. It heals you. Awesome. With bodily injuries. Effects are minimal. It's, uh, what, what's that called? Uh, I can't Someone get that. Rebecca from Mari Zero in here. I, I need some herbs. <laughs> need some mixing services. Speaking of herbs, I was playing Resident Evil with some old high school friends. Like, not too long ago. Watch out okay. for that moving thing. Yeah, I can see that. It's like a mound of rock that has a brain and a hundred legs. <laughs> I feel like that thing's gonna kill me as soon as I move towards it. It definitely will. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna withhold that information from Just you. Just fucking... <laughs> I'm booking it. I'm booking it. I'm going. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. Ow. That apparently hurt a lot. Those roly pulleys are right. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Gotta kite him away. <laughs> Perfect playthrough. This is great. We're doing great. Oh, I can run. Oh, that helps. How do you run? You hold down the what appears to be the X button. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm dead, though. That makes some sense. Oh, try the herb. See if that'll heal you. Yeah, Give will. you some minimal effects. <laughs> oh wow that's actually not so minimal yeah minimal heals your entire health bar minimal <laughs> yeah oh, fuck. this game is great it's good so far we'll see, we'll see if, if you can make it as far as uh, as far as I did in my first playthrough if I punch this door oh hey yeah it opened inward <laughs> to another door <laughs> these people like their doors I see it's like Walmart where you walk inside and there's that little... Jeez, this, look, this looks absurdly evil. <laughs> I mean, you got luck with you, if nothing else. Because you got that idol of sorrow. You're not doing this alone. <laughs> yeah, I have the thing that's supposed to make me suffer with me. How awesome. Is that a what? moving mound? Is that a slime? That looks kind of scary. It looks should... alive. I'll give you a dollar if you could touch it. <laughs> I just want to observe it for a moment. <laughs> I'll give you five if you lick it. <laughs> How was that? I'm trying to grab it. It's Hold a box on. with nothing in it. <laughs> oh, it looks like a mushroom. Is it a mushroom? That looks like a face. Oh, oh gear! Oh, shit! You got the first oh, equipment fuck. before I ever got any equipment. <laughs> the first time I played through... Oh. First time I played through, uh, the first a bit of equipment I got was a club, and you'll see whenever you get the club. Uh, weird. Oh, I think it just shows you what's equipped already. So if you go to your oh, items, okay, you, so you need to go to item. Yeah. No. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> ne next page. Ne no. Oh. The oh. Yeah, there's an next page. Dude, I'm pressing oh, the not D-pad, though. It's oh, that not... sucks. Uh, wait, go back in there and press square. There's a button that said keys. Nope, I guess not. That's weird. Uh, I guess go to feet, and then try to equip stuff? Oh, you have an MP bar. That's cool. Feet? Where do you see feet? Uh, go into equipment. 
And then... Yeah, there's no feet in here. Left. Left, right, whatever. Yeah, see, you're changing from shortcut weapon, yeah, but there's magic, no feet. shield, head, chest. There's legs, but oh, no feet. Legs. Yeah, go to legs. I thought it was, There's mind. no feet. Uh, I'm going to shut up while I'm drinking. Weird. Uh, yeah, we don't have, like, even the, the manual to go. Oh, hey, you're wearing those the clogs. Yeah, you did it. That's 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 a really weird equipment system. <laughs> yeah. This is from a different time. <laughs> Another era. Oh, that one's know. not friendly. <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm going to call him Samuel. I'm going to call him Samuel as he fucking bites my ankles off. <laughs> well, he can't do that. You have shoes. Clogs, specifically. I don't know if, like, well, you have impenetrable wood. You're going a way different direction than I ever thought was possible in this game. <laughs> Barrels? Oh my goodness. Perfect. I'll drink to that. I punched this. <laughs> I gotta say, this, this Devil's Cut goes down smooth. Wow, this game... It's just fast paced, <laughs> blistering. Talking about speed. My fists <laughs> seem insufficient to break these barrels. I don't think you can do anything here. I think it's time to go back up. <laughs> I think you're right. Ah, delicious. Oh god, these tank controls are fucking stupid. Can <laughs> I increase the sensitivity or something? I don't think so, no. Let's go or to system. system. Yeah, we'll just settings. fuck around with the settings. There's a walk effect. That's cool. There's vibration. What the hell is gauge? Is that like showing the HUD? We'll, we'll find out. It That's is. exactly what it is. I called it. <laughs> you got a journal, though. We can delve into the lore of this game if you so wish. Oh, there's key configuration. That could work. Oh, cool. There's a strafe button. Two strafe buttons. You don't have to strafe in one direction. Uh, if you triangle, you'll magic. Really useful stuff. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't <laughs> allow you to use the thumbsticks in key configuration. Really? It won't allow you to use them. <laughs> Okay, so this is this was before Miyazaki understood <laughs> yeah. like what works on a controller and what doesn't. I, <laughs> I guess hard mode is just taking the HUD off, so you never know exactly what you got. I mean, Try this doesn't matter because you can actually use still use the. Uh, oh, I forgot about you. Quick, magic him with your triangle. <laughs> does it do anything? Nothing. Triangle appears probably, to do nothing. You probably don't have any magic equipped or something. Punch it. All right. Can I punch <laughs> it in the asshole? You can try. I'm giving you permission to try. Oh! oh it's a jumping spider. Oh, jeez. Oh, this isn't working. <laughs> that Time seems to get very out of here. bad. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a weapon of some sort. I forget what direction I went originally to go get that club. But I remember it was sitting up against a wall next to a very sad person. There are other people in this game. And you'll probably see, like, an NPC or two. And that, too, in, in, in itself reminds me of, uh, uh, specifically, uh, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. Is, like, just the, the NPCs that don't do anything. They just sit around, oh, look, I think that's a person. Oh, this is not the person that I met. This guy's a douche. Oh, wow, that's horrifying. <laughs> well, you're out of luck. Oh. <laughs> Enchantments. Who the hell are the forest folk? What? <laughs> You're quite the open book, random stranger. <laughs> wow, this is so much exposition in the middle of the game. Oh. Uh localization is important guys 
the rock of life that was once excavate, excavated and is hard to find nowadays. That entire <laughs> sentence is a subject phrase with no <laughs> verb attached to it. <laughs> if you want the vial, I'll exchange it for a rock of life. Wait, so now you first said the rock of life <laughs> as if there was one singular rock of life that was special. It could be a quantity, an unidentified, like an undetermined quantity. But it's like, like the rock of life. Like a vein of the rock of life. Like it's a mineral. Like uh, a vein of gold. The gold that was, that was once excavated is now hard to find. If you want the vial, I'll exchange it for a gold. Uh, I'll <laughs> buy that. It's just a weird switch it of aspect. It is very strange. Stop looking at us. Grant, make it go away. <laughs> uh, I can't make it go away, but I can't make us go away. <laughs> So back to the story with the undead dragon okay. that I was telling earlier. The guy who originally modeled with hyper-realistic it, blood. <laughs> yeah, hyper-realistic <laughs> blood. Uh, the guy who originally modeled it made it all uh, all super duper undead with like maggots coming out of the <laughs> eyes. It was like, look at how cool and undead <laughs> it is. And Miyazaki, he showed it to Miyazaki, and Miyazaki looked at him and looked at the, the, the model and threw it in the garbage <laughs> and was yeah. like, no, you don't understand what I'm going for. This isn't supposed to be <laughs> like your typical, oh, look how metal and cool it is. There's supposed to be a sense that like this world was once majestic and it has yeah, decayed and, and become like shitty. It has fallen. Like it's not supposed to be a fucking like Punch Megadeth it. or Iron Maiden <laughs> album cover. Yeah, it's not <laughs> hard rock. It's a, a sad ballad. Yeah, and um, like that was his whole de design philosophy in it. And I respect that. That is I a lot of what well. I get. I've been watching a lot of Bloodborne more than I have. Uh, I don't play video games. Mm -hmm. I watch video games. And I kind of hate myself for it. I just I don't have the time. I believe I just missed an herb on the left side. Think so? I believe I did. Yeah, you did. Dude, eat that shit. I'm gonna eat it right it's now. Roadside candy. It does not appear the same <laughs> as the first herb I picked up. So it let's does seem a little see. different. Oh, it's antidote. So it's utterly pointless. <laughs> Until I but get yeah, poisoned. I've been watching a lot of Bloodborne. I definitely see what you're talking about with the uh, the sad ballad thing yeah. that you're talking about. Are you hostile? It's a person. This is also another way that I did not go. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? That is Seems like you're not going to kill me. Wow. I think if you were going to kill me, you'd have killed me already. They they definitely seem very NPC-ish. And very human. Their faces are terrifying. You know why their faces are terrifying? They don't actually have any <laughs> facial features. Like, you know what this is? It's a face that has one of those, like... <laughs> Those 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 like tan flesh colored knee socks like a mat pulled oh, over yeah, it, that makes sense. like a robber. That's gotcha. what it is. Definitely no white uh, white to no their dog. eyes. Wow, dog. I mean, that used you, to be. You a dog. clearly haven't had anything to eat in a while. <laughs> yeah. Fucking time to get pita in here. <laughs> or would be if they actually did anything to help animals. Ooh, yeah. shots fired. <laughs> yeah. I think you can take those roly polies with the, with the little. Yeah. What did she say? I was looking at you and not the. There's screen. nothing for you here, which is video game speak for. There's totally something <laughs> for you here. It's like you gotta <laughs> spend seven hours searching for the one little Easter egg. Is it underneath this rock? <laughs> Oh, there's a big stone structure. Did you see it? I see it. If you blinked, you would have missed it. <laughs> just how fast you turn in this game. Now it's fucking like a demon appear cool. here and just murder me. There's nothing for you here but death. She didn't finish. Can you I go in that building up shit. there? Let's look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, I feel really good about over. this yeah, journey. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and the Isle of Sorrow. Best friend of the world. No weapons, no clothes, no nothing. 
We yeah, can do see, it all on our lonesome. See, kids, when a video game says there's <laughs> nothing for you here, it means there is totally 100% a shit ton of stuff here for you. Obsess over it. <laughs> Make it tell you the secrets. But I think that's going to be the, uh, it for this video. Uh, this is Almost Certainly Not Pickles signing out. Happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, St. Pat. Well, I'm sorry, I've had a little too much to drink. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy, happy, happy St. Patrick's Day from from Gernt Larson. Your friends here at 10 Seconds of Silence. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.